Okay, so now let's talk about setting up a green screen. This is something that almost everyone who uses Wirecast does at some point, so let's do it. So I pulled in my camera, I've got a nice green screen, a very solid colored green screen with good lighting, not many ripples or anything in it, so it's going to be very easy to set this up. So I right click, and let's take this full screen, so we can look at it in more detail. Here it is here. And what I want to do is I want to go to effects. And I got to zoom out just a hair more here. I want it to be zoomed in so you can see what I'm doing, but not too zoomed in. There we go, effects. And we can go over here, um, or sorry, it's not in effects, it's in color. Chroma key. And literally, it's so good now that it just automatically picks it up. It's, 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 if you have a good green screen, you don't even need to do anything else. Now you, you probably saw there are settings in there. You can do other stuff, but you might not even have to. There's your green screen. We'll do a virtual set in the next video. We'll give you a better idea, and there'll be a free download for the virtual set. Better idea of how to use this, but that's it. It's chroma key. You right-click your video. You go into color. You set the color key, and then you can use the eyedrop tool to pick it. Now, as you can see, that didn't work as well as just hitting chroma key. So those are the two options. You can do an eyedrop tool, or you can just let it choose it for you. Um, and it's really nice. It's really, really easy to do. Click to watch another exciting PTZ Optics video and don't forget to subscribe. Tune in Fridays at 11 a.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. Eastern to join our live show with new industry experts interviewed every week.